Hi Cancer, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So let's tap into your reading, guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North and LA. Alright, let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on here for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North and for Cancer. What do they need to hear and know at this time? Spirit guides, angels for Cancer. Alright, flip and switch the roles, guys. Y'all know the drill. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome. Thank you guys for the love and the support. Okay, I really appreciate that. So let's see. Cancer, what is going on? Let's see. Okay, bottom of the deck is knocked up. Pregnancy, children, and unexpected. Okay, Cancer. Let's see. <laughs> Somebody here could be seven months pregnant. I'm here in seven months. Okay, you're getting ready to birth. So if this is you, congrats. But let's just see. Somebody outside of you could be pregnant. Okay. Savage mode. Plotting revenge, karma, and payback. Ooh, wee. What else? <laughs> All right. Caught up. Infidelity, uncontrollable, and playing victim, child. <laughs> Then we have no filter. Brutally honest, straightforward, and face value. Yeah. Some of y'all are seeing a situation for what it is currently. Okay. Um, somebody here could be pregnant outside of a relationship. All right. This is not somebody's child, possibly. Um, but this was somebody's revenge tactic. <laughs> somebody is crazy as hell. They're a loser, really. But um, so I'm just getting somebody could be quite pissed off that they've been found out about. I'm getting that their true colors have been shown here. The mask that they've been trying to hide behind is not holding up any, anymore. You know, like, so let's just see. What is this pregnancy right here? Let's see what this is for you guys. I shuffled off camera, so I'm not going to take forever to do that. All right. Let's see. Y'all see I cut my nails down. When they, Once they start lifting and I don't be feeling like going to the nail salon, I'll be cutting these hoes down. <laughs> Bad ass. So, what's knocked up right here for cancer? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're walking away from a situation. Some of you guys could be pregnant and somebody has walked away from you. Okay, that's some bullshit. But for others of you, like I said, there's a situation here where you're just realizing you're no longer happy or this is somebody else you're dealing with. So, you're walking away okay you're walking away i feel like um i don't know if somebody here travels for work or they just travel but i'm getting somebody here has been very much so in and out and they haven't been home much or they could they could have been very neglectful towards you or they, they just lying when they say that they're going somewhere and they're not i mean well they are but they're not going to a place where maybe you think it is or maybe with where they're telling you they're going it's somewhere else so Somebody has gotten caught up here. Um, Eight of Cups is definitely, you know, seeking more. It's like you're not feeling good around this person or in this place anymore. So the Eight of Cups uh, as well talks about self-discovery, introspection. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are just done with something. What's knocked up here? Answer. okay yeah three of wands travel another card indicating travel so some of y'all could definitely be relocating you're moving okay um yeah three of swords somebody got the libra saturn but the three of wands yeah so this is you turning your bike your i say your bike <laughs> uh, so you guys could be going hiking or something like that camping or just getting back in tune with nature um i'm saying like fishing as well yeah, somebody could have traveled here and got knocked up in their travels, whatever the fuck they were doing. But Three of Wands is definitely um, waiting for your ships to come in. I'm seeing growth expansion. Yeah. Yep, Two of Pentacles in the Justice card. So somebody here was definitely juggling. Could be dealing with the Libra. Okay. Somebody could have a... Somebody could be a Capricorn here. So let's see. What else for knocked up? Okay, yeah, Nine of Swords. Yep. 
Yep, somebody's going through a divorce. Queen of Swords. For some of you, it's just a breakup, but I'm getting an energy of just anxiety, worrying, frustration. I feel like there's a lot of staying up late at night. Yeah. Some of y'all really can't sleep, or this is somebody else. I'm seeing a lot of crying. <laughs> oh, boy. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Wands. This could be like somebody here that's just been plotting for a long time against you or something like that, you know? And it's crazy because they just, they're jealous. They're a really nasty person, I feel like this person is. And now that true colors are showing, yeah, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, it's just a nasty person. This person could be a bully. Um, this person could be somebody that's been trying to intimidate you for a very long time or something like that. You know, it's crazy. But Nine of Wands is like guardedness. I feel like you feel guarded. This is somebody here that's been failing to compromise with you, failing to work with you. So I just feel like, yeah, it says it's above me, over it nonchalant moving on last straw oh uh, yeah this was this was it for somebody whoever found out this news this was it okay yeah so somebody here is burdened they're weighed down by their actions by the choices that they made what's this three of wands Okay, yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, for some of you guys, you have somebody here that you're thinking about anyways uh, that you want to go towards. This could be a date coming in, some type of invitation, uh, a romantic gesture or proposal. But yeah, for some of you, yeah, the Death card, Scorpio energy. This could be this person here that cheated on you or however the, the situation is going. This person is trying to come back in to negotiate or compromise with you or offer you an apology. And I feel like you just have your back turned. <laughs> I feel like you don't want to have shit to do with this person. You don't want to have nothing to do with them. Yeah, I feel like it's over. And now they're trying to come back to butter you up. For some of you, this is somebody that's just coming towards you, though. This could be a new romantic uh, suitor or something like that. Because this person has ended something with this person that they thought was the one, maybe. All right, for some of you. Some of you guys are walking away from a job, I'm hearing. You guys could be seeing 999 is what I'm hearing too. So completion, the end of a cycle is near or is, is here. Okay. Yeah. What's this Knight of Cups? Who's this? So this person. Okay, yeah, Three of Cups. Yeah, so this is somebody here that wants to come and reconcile with you. It could be this person that cheated on you, or it could be somebody here that was dealing with the situation that maybe they didn't tell you about, and so now they want to come in and reconcile. Okay, I, I see a celebration coming through. It could be a reconciliation, an apology, or just making up for lost time. Some of y'all could be waiting on results to see if you're pregnant. Okay, it's a yes. <laughs> but this could be this other person that cheated it could be all kind of ways you know but what's this nine of swords okay yeah page of wands hmm so news coming in this could be somebody wanting to reach somebody really wants to say something to you what's this nine of swords with this page of wands what is this? This could be a new creative idea or a plan here that you have about going towards something that you're passionate about. Yeah, it's a principle. Thank you, Spirit. Some of y'all are getting a pay raise. You're getting a raise, a new car, a new home, something new. But it's something solid. It's stable. Some of y'all could be stressed about your financial situation or your, um, your living situation here. But I see it changing. There's a new opportunity for some of you guys. You're getting a call back um, about a home here, about a move, and it's a yes or a car or something like that. But I'm definitely getting, yeah, a win here. Y'all could be saying 666. There could be something going on here with the child. You could be getting news about a child. Yeah, for some of you, the child is yours. For others of you, it's not, and you're moving on to somebody new where you're going to create and, you know, do whatever else with them. But 
Yeah, I see a victory here. Some of y'all could definitely be getting a victory maybe in court about some children or something like that. Yeah, what's the savage mode? Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm hearing um your biggest revenge here is your success, um, Cancer. I feel like you're very successful. There could be somebody like trying to burn some evidence or something, or this is you. Some of y'all could be doing a ritual where you're writing things down on paper and burning it, okay? forgot what that ritual is called, but yeah. If you've done that recently, I feel like it's working or it's going to work. You know, things that you're trying to get rid of and people that you're trying to like, you know, forgive and move on. I feel like it's going to work for you, but Nine of Pentacles is single, abundant energy. Somebody that's very self-reliant, self-sufficient, okay? There's some good news coming in about your money or you're just building a great financial, I, I don't know. This could be a, a business here that you're building upon that's really, really bringing you a lot of success. But yeah, I'm, I'm hearing your biggest revenge is your paper. <laughs> okay, Cancer. I feel it. I really do. A lot of nines here. Yeah, I was getting 999. Yeah, so what's... So somebody here could be plotting revenge on you. They, they feel like you're the cause of this breakup or you're the cause of something. Somebody here doesn't want to take accountability for what they did. They got themselves caught up in some shit. Bitch, you run this for yourself. You know, with Savage Mode, with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Queen of Cups. Yeah, that's you, Cancer. With Savage Mode, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Four of Swords. Some of y'all are pregnant. <laughs> You're pregnant, and congrats. Okay, I'm just getting. It could be you, Cancer, that's pregnant, or there's another Cancer here that's a karmic that's pregnant. Flip it, switch it, but... You know, um, or it could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's biggest revenge or your biggest revenge here is this person that's coming towards you. They're going to get this karmic is going to get. I mean, your person and you are going to get with this karmic loss. And I feel like it's each other. OK, I feel like you and your person are going to. I don't know, get back together or something like that. And this is going to piss this karmic off. All right, this person could be the, the type that's like burning your shit, really, really fucking up your the, the hard the hard earned shit that you got. Somebody's trying to fuck it up. Okay, you worked hard for all the shit that you have, and somebody's trying to ruin it by burning it, vandalizing it. I feel like somebody is just weird. But let's see. So some of y'all could have just broken up with this person or something like that, or you're finally free. I just see freedom. Okay, being able to rest and heal, rejuvenate, recover from something. Some of y'all could be on bed rest here. Somebody could be. What's this nine of pentacles? Okay, yeah, the high priestess. Yeah, for some of you, this is what you do for work. You are a high priestess. Some of y'all do something in divination or you're a tarot reader. Yeah, same thing, but excuse me. Um, I feel like you're also keeping a lot of things hidden, a lot of things to yourself. Right now is a very fertile time for you guys, so really be careful, okay? All right, if you already have kids, you're a good mother or a very good father. Okay, you take very well, very care. I can't even talk today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I really don't. Maybe because it's early. It's 6.37. It's early to me, y'all. I'm not a morning person, so it's hella early to me. But could be a Pisces here that you're dealing with. But I feel like you take very good care of your children here. Some of y'all are really thinking about new business ideas as well. That's going to pay off. Yep. But the high priestess is knowing and seeing things here. So there's some things that you know about this situation already. I just feel like you just working. You just don't give a fuck. Somebody here is just seeing you shine and they're mad because they're in this situation that they put themselves in. What's this queen of cups? Okay, yeah, just working. Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting your you're highly desirable here. Somebody really, really loves you, okay, and they really fuck with you. It could be a lot of people. <laughs> Somebody here loves what you do for work as well. Yeah, the Twin Flame card, the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. So a Dustin Twin Flame connection. A lot of fate events happening here. 
after meeting your twin or for some of you guys this is going to be somebody new that's going to come in your life to help you heal all right but i'm getting some of y'all could be having some makeup sex here as well okay but i'm seeing that your twin is very inspirational or you know vice versa this person here is pushing you to do better for yourself and you know vice versa but yeah somebody here is learning from you yeah page of swords watching you be successful stable mature handling your business yeah so eight of pentacles here some of you guys could be working on some deep emotional wounds too you're just working on yourself you're elevating eight of pentacles yeah this could be a new job working on something new here implementing a new strategy into your business or just something like that but i'm seeing you very focused some of y'all could be very very detailed you got virgo on your chart I'm getting a strong empathy here. You're very empathetic and intuitive. Some of y'all could do that kind of work. And somebody is mad that you do this kind of work because I feel like you expose somebody's ass. <laughs> you expose them. They're mad about that. Yeah, so what's this for swords? Okay, yeah, the sun. <laughs> Didn't I say you expose their ass, Leo energy? So I see happiness. I see happiness coming in for you. Some of y'all could definitely, if you're more tired than usual or something like that, you are, you're definitely pregnant. And I feel like this person is going to be pissed if you're pregnant by their, what, ex or somebody that uh, they played with in the past. Okay, but I see happiness. I see success. I see you guys getting more rest here. Definitely a lot of fertility. So you are creating something. If it's not pregnancy, you're just creating. All right, you could have Leo in your chart. I see playfulness, vitality. Okay being vibrant all right yeah enlightenment here some of you guys could be getting enlightenment through your dreams exposure through your dreams about a situation okay could be a lot of thinking and contemplating going on about something here i feel like somebody is being made to sit the fuck down yeah with the as soon as i said that the hierophant with the ten of wands somebody is being made to sit down you could be dealing with the taurus Somebody's going to have to follow the rules now. They're going to have to abide by the law if there's a court situation or a spiritual law or something. But I feel like this person is very much so burdened, all right, because now they have to, like, deal with whatever the fuck they got themselves into. They're going to have to conform where maybe at first they were not this karmic or somebody. What's this called? Uh, infidelity, uncontrollable, play victim. Yeah in and out behavior knight of wands energy player energy a lot of traveling so this person i don't know what they do this part, i'm hearing like an escort somebody could be an escort okay and you know ain't no judgment here but i just feel like when you start talking down on other people and trying to make them out to be something that you actually are it becomes a problem and you deserve to be embarrassed <laughs> bro shit so knight of wands i'm just seeing yeah, I'm seeing you break free from something with confidence. I see you not being bothered, okay? I feel like somebody here is very hot-tempered, okay? They could be very arrogant. All right, yeah, very prideful. <clears throat> they really try to keep quiet about something. Could be dealing with a strong Leo or Aries placement. They really try to keep private about something, and now it's coming out. Now they're over here stressed that they're being exposed, What's caught up with the Nine of Wands? All right, we have, yeah, somebody could have a Libra, Jupiter, Four Swords again. The Emperor. Aries, energy strong. Somebody could have a Libra, Jupiter. So you guys could be dealing with the father figure here. <clears throat> no, this could be your your father could be involved in something, but this could be your masculine here, your divine masculine, your counterpart with the emperor. All right, I'm saying this person, if this is them, they're breaking free, they're leaving some person here that <clears throat> done them wrong. I'm, I'm hearing like again, somebody has been done wrong again. Okay, yeah, a lot of contemplating. Let's see, what's this Knight of Wands? What's the nine of wands? Okay, yeah, three of wands again. You guys can be seeing three, three, three. Yeah, travel once again. So somebody here is, is they, they're out of here. <laughs> okay, this person, they are traveling. Somebody is moving. They could be relocating or this is you. Some of y'all could be, like I said, moving for a business. 
this person could be foreign here. They could look very different. They could look very unique or this is you. But I mean, especially if y'all are twins, y'all always look different or opposite from each other, but still look the same. I realized like I look the same as my twin as well. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, somebody could definitely be an Aries here. This person has been caught. Whoever this Aries is, possibly. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Wands. Somebody could have a Sagittarius Saturn. Yeah, this person is, is Burton. 1010, you guys could be seeing as well. Yeah, now they just sitting here looking dumb. I just feel like they look stupid. This is Three of Wands with this Knight of Wands. Yep, Seven of Swords, infidelity, cheating, being sneaky, lying, conniving. <laughs> this person is being caught in the act. This person could be trying to run away. I feel like they have nowhere to go. They're trying to get away because, you know, they're playing victim, acting like they're hurt, they're stressed, like they didn't do what the fuck they did. Yeah. <laughs> What's the Four of Swords, child? I can't. Okay, Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're stressed. They're the ones that stress whoever this woman is. Yeah, Three of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. For some of you, this hoe could have slept with somebody at your job or something like that. But they were definitely in competition with you. And they just wanted to be a third party in your relationship with this emperor, it looks like. But a lot of fighting going on, a lot of people like going at it. I feel like this person has slept with multiple people. And they don't even know who their child's father is, whoever the fuck this is. Okay, this karmic of yours or your masculines. They're all over the place. There could be a lot of workplace drama. But a lot of a lot of wanting to be in competition with you and just be in the way of something. They work really, really hard to cause chaos. And I feel like now it's backfiring because now they're being exposed for who they actually are. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what this whole get. I don't feel bad at all. I really don't. Now they're going through a divorce. They're bitter. This person here. What's this Queen of Swords? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, something is over. Somebody made their final decision. There's been a breakup, a cancel celebration. Oh. For some of you, I'm getting with this four of swords here. Somebody here is pregnant, but they're on bed rest because they're having pregnancy complications. They could be losing a child for some of you. I'm sorry to hear that, you know. I mean, you don't want nobody to go through that. It's bad. It's the worst kind of pain, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just getting that something is just over. There's been a breakup or some type of, for some of you, there's been a miscarriage here. It has. Yeah, something here is blocked. Mm -mm. But I'm seeing this person just stressed about this breakup. They don't they don't want this breakup to happen because they don't want their true character or their true nature to come out. This masculine is probably going to expose this to you or something like that is happening. What's the emperor? Come in. Five of Wands. Yeah, fighting and arguing. Competition. Yeah. Hmm. What's this emperor with this five of wands? They're going to be fighting at somebody's job or their place of business. Like, I'm just getting a lot of fucking drama. Yeah, page of pentacles. Because somebody won't accept someone's offer or they want to take this offer somewhere else. Yeah, about a child. This person could be using a child as a pawn here. There could be two children involved. I'm getting a lot of y'all have good news coming in about your finances. This person has been just trying to get in the way for this person's money. That's all that it is. This person wants to rebuild with this person. And they don't want to. They don't want to rebuild with their ass. Yeah, King of Swords. Somebody is cold as fuck. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, Three of Swords. Somebody got a Libra, Saturn. Yeah. So it's a no. It's just a no. This person could have been, this woman here or whoever the fuck this is, could have been trying to get child support off of this person for a child that's not even theirs. Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm about to go to the next deck. Yeah. So let's see. So there's a fresh start. There's seeds that's being planted somewhere else. 
Okay, some of y'all could be in school. I just feel like you're trying to get your paper right. And somebody is just like trying to be getting away. It's just annoying. And they really don't have good intentions either. What is no filter? Brutally honest, straightforward, face value. Yeah, a tower moment. Something coming out. Something being revealed. Just period. Aries energy is strong here. It could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Leo is here. Pisces. Maybe strong earth too. What's no filter with the tower? Yeah, two of cups, a breakup. Something is just over. <laughs> Something is just way over. It's never coming back. It's never going to be resurfacing, reborn. Yeah, two of cups is a disunion and rebirth. There could have been some abuse here too for some of you. This person could have been very abusive or I'm just getting like somebody could be very spoiled. They're used to getting their way. They're not used to being told no about something. You know, somebody is just a loser. But what's this no filter? Just two of cups in reverse in the tower. Somebody doesn't respect someone's boundaries either. They don't have no respect for somebody's personal fucking space. All right, yeah, nine of cups. Because somebody here was selfish. They were greedy. They were greedy. They were all about themselves. Very self-centered. Yeah. It's just messy as fuck this this is. But I'm saying now that you've broken up with this person, now your nine of cups can come in. I feel like it's painful, but your wish, whatever wish here or whatever you wish for here is going to be granted. Yeah, now you can move forward into something more stable, something more secure and be with the person that you actually are meant to be with. Because this shit here was definitely messy. Yeah, what's this tower? <clears throat> yeah, two of swords, something that somebody has been trying to hide. Yeah, the queen of wands, the devil. Could be a Capricorn. Definitely strong fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Aries. Yeah, two of swords. Now somebody's stuck. They're having anxiety. They're overwhelmed. Okay, they're at a stalemate. Because they put themselves there. What's this nine of cups right here? Yep, seven of wands. Now they're blocked. This person could definitely be pregnant. And they're blocked. <laughs> Because I don't even feel like it's this masculine's child. This is somebody else's child. It's not this masculine's. For some of you, nine is significant, right? You know, nine months of pregnancy, obviously. Everybody knows that it takes nine months for a baby to bake. All right. So this person could have lied and said, like, anything to keep this masculine held back from you or something like that. Or held back from doing whatever the fuck it is that they want to do for their own fucking life. Somebody could have been like, oh, okay, well, let me just say I'm pregnant. Maybe that'll keep this masculine here. So... This person could have been stuck with this person for months at a time, trying to take care of this person and nurture them and take care of them while they're pregnant with somebody else's baby. That's crazy. <laughs> These hoes are scandalous as fuck. Seven of Wands, though, is like blocked. Somebody's just blocked from a manifestation that's trying to come through. Just period. So let's pull one of these for you, Cancer. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so we have love redefined romance. Cupid has entered your heart and has awakened you to love and romance, but this time on a different vibra vibration. Having a newfound love for yourself has created opportunity for a new chapter with possibilities to cultivate healthy relationships. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is distorted view, perspective. A change in perspective is needed to view you or the situation with compassion. The root core of pain is often associated with how you may view yourself or the situation from a wounded place. Choosing to heal this brings the broken pieces back together to create a healthy viewpoint. So yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to come in to change your perspective, change your point of view about things. I feel like, you know, some of y'all's perspective is going to change, but I'm definitely getting a new chapter in your connection is coming through because somebody had to get rid of a karmic energy or pass a karmic test. All right. This was past life karma that somebody has to work through before they can have a chance to be with you, you know? So I'm getting healthy love could be coming into your life, something more stable and solid. All right. As, as far as your love life goes. So yeah, cancer, this was your reading. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button. So you guys won't miss any of my readings for when I post and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.